So live it is. <laughs> All right, guys. Today has been a very, very interesting day. Okay. Um, I'm not going to filter anything of what happened today. I'm just going to tell you how it went. And what happened because it's real life okay let's start with number one okay Do i'll explain the blanket in a second okay so let's ex let's just start with number one okay number one i happened to be up all night i didn't sleep at all okay and the reason i didn't sleep at all for some of you that don't know this and i shall share is that John's birthday is on Saturday and we decided that it's like super important for us to take a trip and that we need to like totally de like decompress our brains and so we decided to take a trip to Turks and Caicos so I was like you know what I gotta get everything done I gotta get everything out of the way I I don't care what it takes so I was like you know listen if the flight takes off at eight o'clock in the morning I gotta be at the airport at like 6 20 whatever why don't I just stay up? I mean, I had a ton of shit to do anyway. So why not just stay up, right? Okay. So I decided to stay up. So I haven't slept. Okay. Let's start there. Okay. So I haven't slept. I was like, yeah, my bags are packed. This is the best thing ever. Oh my God. We're finally getting a vacation with the child. Say hi. Anyways. So with the child. Yay. Okay. So. This is what happens. So we uh, pack our bags, everything's great. We get on the plane, okay? I'm exhausted again, haven't slept, and I'm like, you know what, I can, because we had one plane to catch to another plane, because you know, Tampa doesn't go anywhere directly. So we had one plane to catch to the next plane. So we decided to, what up, Kristen? Um, we decided to go ahead and get on the plane, all that fun jazz. Before we got on the plane, this is an important part to my story. Before we got on the plane, it's very important that when we check in, and we usually fly American, this time we decided to fly Delta, okay? So it's very important that I put that little ticket on my, on my bag, okay? Shut up, Justin. <laughs> it's very important that I put this little ticket on my bag, right? That has like my name and my address and my phone number, like, you know, where you can contact me, you know, like if you find my bag and it's like gone. So, ha ha ha, right? So it gets on the little conveyor belt after this lady throws it onto the thing and John's like, I'm like, dude, we didn't put the, you didn't put the little ticket thing on there. I'm like, what if my bag gets lost? He's like, your bag's not gonna get lost. He's like, wouldn't it be crazy if your bag actually did get lost? And I'm like, ha ha ha, no. Okay, start of the story. So we get on the plane. On the plane, I'm doing like a bazillion emails. I'm trying to like catch up to everything so I could really enjoy. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's funny. Enjoy this vacation of ours because we truly need a vacation. <laughs> and today has been very interesting. So anyways, so I'm on the emails, doing my thing, doing my thing, whatever. Long story short, um, I get like the, I hear the thing go off and they're like, oh, it looks like we're going to be running about 20 or 30 minutes late. And I'm like, oh shit. I'm like, we have a plane to catch because we were going into Georgia or whatever, Atlanta, and we had a plane to catch. But granted, we only had 42 minutes to catch the plane. So I'm like, dude, if this plane runs late, there's no way that we're going to be able to make the plane. Then we're going to be stuck in Atlanta. And our son's never been on like a trip to an island. And I'm trying to like make this the best experience of his life. I have Bahamas. Bahamas. Exactly. Bahamas, Bahamas. <sighs> Okay, it's not like a, a, a hop, skip, and a jump, and you're going to get on three planes to get there. Okay, it's a little different. So anyways, try to make this a very good experience for my kid. Okay, uh, we so we go ahead, get on the plane. They take off maybe like 20 minutes later, right? All right, so we're like, all right, I think we're going to make it. We're going to make it. All right, cool. <clears throat> so boom, off on the road. So we decide to land. I asked the, 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 the stewardess, of course. Okay, again, just remember, I'm working off of zero hours of sleep zero okay all right so i asked the stewardess i'm like listen where do we need to go i need to know exactly what gate i need to know exactly where to go when i get in this airport because i am not playing games i am not trying to stay in atlanta i want to get on my trip this is like well-deserved trip i need to have okay so how do i get there 
So she wrote it all down on a napkin for me. She was ever so kind enough to do so. So anyways, we get off the plane. We run, 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 run. We get into this little subway thingy, um, little bus train, whatever. Get into the bus train. And so granted, I'm a little impatient and I'm already impatient as it is. So we get into the bus train, right? This is like a real soapbox today. This day was, day was messed up, man. Anyways, so anyways, we get in the train and I'm sitting down. I'm trying to answer emails again, like trying to get through everything. And um, the, the door keeps opening and closing like on this train. And I keep looking at my watch and I'm like, dude, we are going to miss this plane. <laughs> So finally, there was somebody that like scoot on to the to the train and I'm like, okay, fine, 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 get in the freaking train. So then they made an announcement on the train. They're like, somebody is in the midst of in the doorway that's blocking it. So of course I take it upon myself, which probably wasn't nice, but I took it upon myself. I'm like, whoever's foot is in the doorway, I'm like, move your stupid foot. I'm like, I have somewhere to be. And of course, John gives me that look like, Sharice, I need you to be quiet right now. So, anyways. Off we go. Yay. We make it to the next plane. Run, 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 run. Make it to the next plane. Woohoo. Arrived to Turks and Caicos. We arrived to Turks and Caicos. Yay. We made it. <laughs> and so we go to the conveyor belt and we stand there while all the luggage goes by. Because <laughs> of how can you laugh? Because it, what else do you want me to do? Uh, nothing. There's the nothing the you can do about your luggage being stuck at another airport. You go to Atlanta again. No. There's nothing yes. you can do. Get off. We talked yeah. about this earlier. Get. Yeah. All right. There's nothing you can do about luggage that is stuck somewhere else. Now, can you be super pissed off about it? Yes, you can, okay? But that's not going to fix anything. So what we need to do at this point is we need to come up with solutions, okay? Solutions. <laughs> okay, so mind you guys, okay? Let's remind you guys, all I have on me is my purse. John has his backpack, and Peter has his backpack, and we're on an island that has a very limited amount of resources. Okay, so we decide, okay, we're going to make the best of this trip. It's going to be okay. Everything's going to be okay. It's totally fine. Yeah, this will totally work out. Totally okay. Mm -hmm. Totally fine. So we decided let's go ahead and go into, like, the villages. Let's go into the villages. Let's find us a bathing suit so we can go catch a little bit of sun. <laughs> that was fun. So we go into the villages. And I'm going to be totally honest with you, and only girls would really understand this, okay? <laughs> and I don't even care if I made fun of for, like, doing this because this is so messed up. I'm totally going to show it to you guys because it's, like, it's so real life. It's just funny. It's, it's funny because it's real. Um, so, anyways, we go into these villages, right? And I'm looking for a bathing suit. And I'm like, all right, so, you know, the way that my body is formatted, okay, I need to have like a medium bottom and then like have a large top, but they didn't have any of that. Okay. So that was problem number one. Problem number two is that they don't have any of those little padding pieces that go into the bathing suit. <laughs> and they also don't sell any of those little, what's it called it? Um, the little, uh, sticky thingies that go on your, that go on like your, your little, you know, to make sure that you don't look like super trashy, you know, those things that cover like your nips. Okay. They don't sell that either. So option number one, I go with a bathing suit that doesn't have any coverage. Option number two, I go with the bathing suit that doesn't fit, but I need a bathing suit because I want to go to the pool. And last thing I'm going to go in the pool in is my Uggs <laughs> and a pair of sweatpants, okay? Because that's not going to work. So, I will show you my outfit that I created at the village today. All the girls at the office laughed at me for this. And I shall show you. <laughs> so, my outfit. Well, Peter got an outfit too. But that's, that. he got a normal outfit. See, so my outfit is this 
wonderful bra looking bathing suit thing I would never, ever, ever, ever wear. And these super shorts that I would never wear. And here's the best part about this whole story. We go into the store so we can buy sandals. I don't know if John can hear me, but <laughs> we go into the store so we can buy sandals, right? Because we need sandals to go by the pool. But, and we, you know what? We went into like four different stores just so we can find sandals that are like actually comfortable, okay? So we finally found sandals that were comfortable. This is like, we're talking like two, two hours in, okay? And I'm like, I'm tired. I still haven't slept, but like an hour and a half, maybe two hours on the second flight. And this is going into like day three, because remember two days ago, I went to bed at 4.45 in the morning. I am on a very limited amount of sleep at this point. Thank goodness for my ECAs. So anyways, um, so we, uh, so we pick out these really cute sandals, come all the way to the hotel. We have like three little like hockey dory bags. Um, I have my purse, he has his backpack and everybody's like, so where's your suitcases? We're like, oh yeah, I didn't make it here. And uh, unfortunately, the next flight isn't going to come in until tomorrow, and they can't tell us what time the flight's going to come in. So, yeah, it kind of leaves us in a situation where, like, we don't have any other clothes or a toothbrush or anything. Socks, clothes, pajamas, <laughs> anything. So, anyways, and they don't, sell, they don't sell these things in the village. I don't know why. <laughs> Ah, okay. So anyways, we make it all the way back to the hotel. And Peter has some empathy for me. Okay. So we make it <laughs> carry on luggage. Listen, Justin, my, my luggage would never fit in an overhead compartment ever. Okay. It makes, it's like 49.99999 pounds. It would never fit. Okay. So anyways, we get here. And we get all this stuff up here, right? Like these little bags. And honestly, I didn't even want to give my I didn't want to give my shit to the to the bellman because I'm like, listen guys, I can't afford to lose any more shit today. <laughs> I need to make sure that all my shit makes it back upstairs. <laughs> so we get upstairs and we're like, all right guys, let's just enjoy the rest of the day. All right. So we enjoy the rest of the day. We go put on our bathing suits and I'm like, all right, where's my sandals? Oh. Where's my sandals? <laughs> where were where were the sandals, Peter? Right, let me show. So, uh, we went to this one shop and I asked Dad, <laughs> "Are these our sandals?" And he's like, "No, no, no." And then when we come back to the hotel, he's like, "Where are all our sandals?" And I'm like, "You left my blues." <laughs> So we ended up not having any freaking sandals. So you want to know what I wore down the pool? Yes. Yours truly. <laughs> Ta-da. Yep. <laughs> best sandals ever. Look. These are the best sandals you ever get in your life. See? They're the bedroom slippers. Aren't those the best sandals you've ever seen? You know what? Little do you know is that when you walk by the pool... They completely soak up with water, and then you really don't have any sandals at all, so you might as well have walked down there barefoot, okay? So, anyways, this has been my day today, okay? Luckily, I bought this blanket at the airport. At Tampa. It's, and it's soft and cuddly, and I'm so excited to have, so excited to have this soft, cuddly blanket. So, and the soft, cuddly baby. Um, Tina, I, I seriously don't even know what I'm going to do with myself today. <laughs> seriously. I had to share the real story with you guys because it's almost like unbelievable. Like even when I got down here and I got down to like, you know, the, I'm like, okay, we're finally here. Let me just get a shot of Patron. It'll make everything better. Right. Let me just relax. Just chill out. All I want is some chicken wings by the pool. You know, we got one no hour. chicken wings. We got one hour before sun goes down. Okay. It'll be okay, right, Tina? It'll be fine, right? No, she comes back to me. She doesn't come back to me in five minutes. She doesn't come back to me in 20 minutes. She comes back to me in 40 minutes and tells me there's no chicken wings. And you're also talking to a woman that has not eaten all day. So I 
haven't eaten. I haven't slept. I, you did. I got to eat pretzels. You know what? I, I think actually I could probably live off pretzels. Actually, you can be. They give you enough poop and stuff. Not, Peter, well, don't start with me. Well, you need it. Get, get, okay. All right, so that's the story of my day, okay? And uh, that's a quite fun story. I'm just curious to know when I'm actually gonna get my bags tomorrow. I really, really would love my bag. Um, it has my stuff in it, you know, like my toiletries and my toothbrush and some pajamas and stuff like that. I mean, <laughs> have you guys seen like the options that I had at this village? I'm like, <laughs> I, it's not even like I'm like being shitty about it or stuck up about it. It's just like, I, I mean, like, literally, I just, I'm not asking for much, like, just, like, a pair of shorts and shit. I'm not even asking for much. Pete, did you just hear my story about all of our luggage being left? We have nothing here. Papu, we have nothing. Papu's on here. I know. Peter, be quiet, he says. Shh, don't say Ooh, anything. bro. Stop it. So we have nothing. We have no luggage at all. Thank God for my purse. My purse has all of the essentials in it. And John's backpack, that, that has all the essentials in it. <laughs> I can't believe this has happened to us. It's supposed to be a good vacation. So, of course, I call the girls at the office so they can make fun of me and my lovely <laughs> outfit of matching tiny, tiny, tiny little bathing suit top that barely fits. And I don't like being risque whatsoever. And my unmatching shorts and my amazing chancletas. AKA slippers. Um, so yeah, that's been the story of my day. And tonight, um, yeah, I don't have, we, we, we don't have, you don't have any, Peter doesn't have any clean underwear, so. I just sleep in my bathing suit. He'll right? sleep in his bathing suit. <laughs> Listen, let's look at the bright side here, okay? Oh. Bright side is, we did make it to Turks and Caicos, okay? We made it here, okay? We never get to go on vacation ever. We truly need to enjoy our time. So whatever it takes to really enjoy it, we should enjoy it. Um, we have each other, right? Um, and, you know, the people actually, like, because we've been here before at some point, they know who we are, so they're already used to me being very specific, and they can accommodate my special needs. So, John's birthday's on Saturday. I'm excited about the rest of the weekend and being able to have a little bit of family time, relax and try to decompress a little bit. I really, 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 really want my suitcase. Um, kinda. Peter's bathing suit didn't fit him, so we did pin it, but it still didn't fit him. And um, John's bathing suit was just a tiny, bit short but I made sure to point out another guy at the pool that had really 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 tiny bathing suit on so he didn't feel that bad right John <laughs> anyways that's the story for today my lovely story I am so incredibly tired I couldn't even explain to you in words how tired I am right now but I am definitely gonna get some sleep tonight I don't care if it's in the clothes I wore on the airport or in my damn bathing suit, I'm gonna get some sleep. And then hopefully tomorrow, my suitcase will show up at some point in time. It's just super ironic that we happen to be the only people on the entire plane that don't have luggage in a stranded island. No, there's that one only, other person, one other person. That only has one flight come in like a day. So it's not even like you get another flight that comes in at 10 o'clock and they're, oh yeah, it'll be on that 10 o'clock flight. No, not gonna be on a 10 o'clock flight. So anyways, story of my day. I figured I'd share it with you guys because it's super messed up. But it's okay. Everything will be all right. <laughs> we're alive. We're healthy. We have some food. Oh, and let me show you the best part. Because pff, what's a vacation? Oh, there's John. He's sleeping. What's a vacation without having like a real vacation, right? Can you please get the door? It's the food. So, dun, 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 dun. oh 
yeah. So, having no suitcase, but having that, no suitcase, having that, no suitcase, no suitcase, bottles of Moe, bottles of Avion, I'll take it. <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> Lord, baby Jesus. Somebody give me some strength to make it through the rest of the night. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys soon. True soapbox for you. And uh, I'll cut on my little blankie from the airport tonight. Mm, so fun. <laughs>